Okay, I'm almost done. One more plate to go. Remember, the plates have a tab for the power connection. You put one this way, the other one that way. One this way, the other one that way. Alternate them. So you can make any combination of the plates that you want for power. You can combine the plates in series, in parallel, any way you want. I'm using multiples of four, so you can have four plates, eight plates, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. The more the plates, of course, the more hydrogen you're going to generate. I'm going to start with this one here for a test with the Dave Lawton circuit that I have built. And I'm going to show you the results when I'm done. We're almost there. Almost the last plate. And this is the last plate, by the way. This is plate number... 16. Here's the last one and here's the the gasket that I'm going to put over it. Make sure you're very careful with this thing because it's 1 16th of an inch thick. It can tear up very easily. You can see the screws with the insulation around them. You don't want the screws touching the plates. And we're almost done. Here we go. And now the top plate. The top plate has a couple uh, big holes in it. That's for the water coming in and water coming out because this is completely self-enclosed you don't uh, see anything in it if I line up those holes I can put it in there we go almost there that's in great now I put some washers Actually, now I can take my gloves off. I don't need those anymore since I won't be touching the plates. I can work a lot faster. I got those from uh, Ash. You can pick them up at Home Depot, any hardware store actually, Ace Hardware, doesn't matter where. Alright. Actually those screws are a little longer than I thought. I could have got them, uh, those are two and three quarter. I could have got two and a quarter or actually two and a half would have been okay. For now it doesn't matter. Just put those nuts on them. 